Itsushi is famous for the traditional making of the healthy Japanese noodles called soba. Why not taste the soba in this gorgeous town nicknamed a little Kyoto? We've come to Izushi in the northern part of Kyogo Prefecture. The first thing you want to try is a ride in one of these rickshaws. It's cool I get to ride in it with my friend Asa from China. It's pretty fast. So we're here in this very old village with all very old Japanese buildings and traditional houses, as you can see at my back, um, surrounded by, by the mountains and the forest. Apparently, there were lots of these rickshaws all over Japan 100 years ago. Although it's a small town, it is so famous for making especially good soba noodles that there are over 40 soba restaurants here. So we're here in this very old traditional Japanese house. Um, it's actually a restaurant, soba restaurant, and so we're going to eat soba noodles. Containing natural polyphenols and minerals, soba is known for its anti-aging and Alzheimer's preventing properties. The way they make the soba by using a pole to stretch and lengthen the dough is, and then meticulously cut it into thin noodles can only be achieved by experts and it's nothing less than an art form. The spring water from Izushi is clean and clear, making its soba particularly delicious. You can eat fresh made soba in this shop. What's interesting and particular about Izushi soba is that it comes served on these little plates. It's that for the beginning you have five plates so you can eat as much as you want. So you start eating the five plates like, with small amount of soba in it. And then you can order for more as much as you want. Do you know what this green stuff is? It's Japanese horseradish or wasabi. Wasabi root and you have to do it like really strong on this kind of wood block to make it like look like the paste. It's really hard like, but it smells good and I'm going to try it. Strong. <laughs> <laughs> Into the dipping sauce, we can add grated jams, daikon, leeks, and egg to our liking. Of course, we put in plenty of the wasabi we grated. There was a competition with Asa from China, but who could eat the most? <laughs> Take some of the cold soba and you pour it inside. The soba is light and refreshing, so even when you don't have much of an appetite, you can find yourself <laughs> eating quite a lot. Mm. <laughs> when you chew it, the taste is different. A competitive eating champion apparently finished off 133 plates in 10 minutes. <laughs> she just can't eat too much. <laughs> I unfortunately got full much quicker. So I could eat five plates of soba and she's still eating after <laughs> seven plates, so I don't know. <laughs> so she's amazing, she ate seven plates, I ate only five. I, lo I lost, she won. <laughs> it's nice to get a little exercise by wandering around the town when you're feeling full. And there's beautiful shrines to see. Right, so you can see there is so many tori. Um, going up to the mountain. So this fantastic road of Tori was fantastic red color and I don't know, it never ends. <laughs> Here at Arikoyama Inari Shrine, there are 157 sets of stairs spanned by 37 Tori gates. Isn't it breathtakingly beautiful? It's a hard climb, but there is a reward of better business or exam success in it for you. It's a spiritual feeling. Also, a lot of Japanese singers and actors visit to pay their respects because Inari Shrine is purported to be good for improving performances. Izushi is a small, easy-going provincial town where you can really enjoy the atmosphere of old Japan.